Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is David Coburn. Um, I'm standing for Scotland and um, many other people. Um, hopefully we're going to get in. Um, buckets will be passed round by these last Scottish gentlemen here for the forthcoming by-election in Dunfermline, where our extremely good candidate, Peter Adams, will be standing and will be doing very well, I'm sure. So could you all give generously as the buckets come round? Okay, very quickly, um, Mr. Salmon has a serious problem with Scotland's national bard, Robert Burns. Burns was a rampant unionist and a serious Eurosceptic. I quote from the bard, does haughty Gaul invasion threaten? Be British still to Britain true, among ourselves united. But never but by British hands shall Britain's wrongs be righted. Now, Scotland and England have done well together, united, and projecting our power throughout the world. It is not in the interests of our country for there to be a separation. It would not only be disastrous for Scotland, but it would be disastrous for England as well, because together we can project our power much further. If the separation comes, it will be an absolute tragedy. All of you here must contact all the people you know in Scotland and urge them to get out there and vote in this referendum. It is deathly important. If you're Scots yourself, make sure you vote. It's very urgent. Apathy is the greatest danger. The bigger the percentage we can beat Mr. Salmon with, the better it will be. It will kill this thing dead. The problem is people are getting apathetic there. They feel we're going to win anyway, but that's not good enough. We must get out there and push them. And UKIP in Scotland will be making a sterling effort to that extent. We are fighting the European elections and we are fighting the national elections in Scotland. Scotland has only various shades of red you can vote for since the implosion of the Conservative Party. There is no libertarian business, small business party in Scotland. Nothing. UKIP are going to give them something. We don't have the baggage that the Conservative Party had. We don't have the baggage of the Labour Party. People in Scotland increasingly see the Labour Party as the party not of the working man, but of the town hall apparatchik with his fat salary and his fat pension. The Conservative Party are finished. The Liberals are a joke. This is a vacuum that UKIP can fill, and we will. It's very important that we get as much people up in Scotland to help us during the campaigns, and I hope you'll all go up and help us with it. Mr. Salmon doesn't want independence. He wants a franchise from Barroso. He's flip-flopped between the euro, keeping the pound, through the so-called Panama option, in the way that the Americans finance South American countries by dollarization. But as Scots know from history, schemes in Panama promise much and work out badly. Adam Smith and David Hume worked, worked it out 300 years ago in Edinburgh that the union was important and that we should not be giving too much money to the government in Westminster. They wanted Lanarkshire, Lincolnshire, and Lincolnshire not to be paying too much money to a political elite in Whitehall. UKIP believes in less government, less government from Westminster and less government from Holyrood. We are the low tax option in Scotland. UKIP wants to see the Scots keep more money in their own pockets. Let's face it, we're Scots. <laughs> UKIP don't want Scottish politicians making promises they can't keep. We want Scots making things. Scots were industrialists before we were socialists. Let's get back to the good old days. UKIP's campaign in Scotland is opening a salvo, and we will give that alternative to Scotland. I remember years ago when I was a lad in Scotland, 
both Labour and Conservative Secretaries of State for Scotland conspired together to close and abolish ancient free Scottish schools. And they subsequently denied generations of aspirational young Scots of slender means opportunity. Mr. Salmon furthermore wants to close the border to Scottish ambition so that any young man from Scotland who wants to come to England or go to Saudi Arabia or go anywhere else in the world is denied the opportunity to expand his life. Young Scots don't want that. Young Scots want the liberty to come to London. They want the liberty to be part of a bigger country with better opportunity. And I think many people in England want the same opportunity to exploit Scotland and go up there and work in the industries in Edinburgh and Glasgow. We do not want to be separated. We want to stick together and get out of the European Union. Now, time is limited, so I'll draw to a close now. But I hope you all give generously. M Misty will be speaking to you personally if you don't. He's a big man. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, Scotland is important to the Union.